Kia ora. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at the New Zealand song um, by the LAB called Mr. Reggae. Um, four chords in the song. You've got E minor, A minor, C, B7, and then it finishes again on an E minor. If you want to play it exactly like them, in the same key, you'll use a capo and put it in the third box, playing those same shapes. But for today's lesson and making it accessible for everyone, we're just going to do it down here. So with your E minor chord, you're going to hold it slightly differently than usual. You're going to grab your middle finger and your ring finger. So your middle finger is going to go on the second string in the second box, and your ring finger is going to go in the third string in the second box. And the reason for that is because your next chord is A minor, and what I want you to do there is move that shape down one string each, and you're going to add that index finger on the second to last string in the first box. So that's what it should look like. E minor to A minor. The next chord is C. Now what you can do there is just take off the ring finger. You're going to slide this middle finger ever so slightly to give you a little bit more room and your ring finger is going to be placed on the second string in the third box. Now the fourth chord B7, it's not a very common chord but it does come up every so often and it looks like this. You're going to start with your middle finger second string second box then your index finger is going to go in the first box on the th next string down in the third string. Then your ring finger is going to go on the fourth string down in the second box. And your pinky is going to go on the very bottom string. And that is the B7 chord. Then to get back to the E minor, all you need to do is leave the middle finger on, take the rest off, move that ring finger and tuck it underneath back to the beginning. For the strum, we're going to use thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers. So it starts with a thumb strum, you're going to use kind of these three fingernails to brush downward. And give that real emphasis, that one, two, three, because that will give you that reggae feel. One, and two, and three, and four, A minor, two, Three and four, C two, B seven two, E minor two, three and four. So the structure there is four beats on your E minor, four beats on your A minor, two beats on your C, two beats on B seven, and four beats on the E minor. Then you're going to hold that E minor for another four beats because you'll be back at the start. Alrighty. So, I've transposed the song so it's going to sound a little funny, but we're going to play along to it. Here we go. A minor. C. B7.
seven. Obviously that was transposed, um, if you play the song on Spotify or whatever, you'll need a capo in the third box, you'll play those exact same chords, same strum, 